Canadian home is dealing with language. Um, I came in 1956 uh, with my parents um, after during the Hungarian Revolution in this state, and uh, they arrived here in Canada. And in some ways, I pick up uh, Gina's story, except it's 56. And you know, every immigrant is a story. You know, a stranger in a strange land. You know, so much depends on knowing that you don't. Leaving a hostile homeland, crossing no man's land, and seasickness distances, she arrives. Free and desperate to say something. She is a mute on the back balcony of a new country, a greener facing a new neighbor who knows that she doesn't know the language. So, out of kindness, she speaks louder. My mother watches her mouth move. Rapid, mysterious sounds explode from her face. Almost, sometimes, she can make up shadows of words. You know, you know, how true it's the neighbor's battle? No. It's a word that the neighbor turns quickly, even before the curses. Listening to her neighbor's constant, you know, gets to her. She shouts out, I know, I know, I know, until it sounds like a hurling of pots and pans. You know, she's nothing if not determined, a survivor of grammarians of extermination. So night after night, after sweatshop hours, she sits in immigrant classes with other awkward mouths, twisting their lips to master the new words, new worlds that make her feel at home. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I am fine, thank you. She gags on the chalk placed under her tongue to get those the sounds. The. Think and thank you to slip out smoothly as her breath. Her twisted tongue works hard and cries and curses. She learns to conjugate. She watches the future and the past too fast. She curses the language of this place, but curses more the language of the old country, a language of beautiful poetry and pure hate. Often late at night in the quiet light, in the white light of the memory, she sits in her dressing gown and reads. She takes pride in her comprehension and in her simple phrases that to her seem seamless as the clothes she shots she sewn for over 30 years. Though she will never fully chart this language, she can say almost perfectly, this language is my land now. Rich furs 
the sweet succulents in all the land. <laughs> oh, love, I try to love you in your missionary ways, your complex and idea that ties us to crosses and bed crosses. On my knees, I scale those oratory steps to ask for the miracle of the evening, only to find myself in a room full of crutches and wheelchairs, heartless and solitude. Oh, mon amour, like a maple leaf Romeo, I place you on a pedestal. I kneel beneath your fleur de lis to a balcony at the foot of your sensual spiral staircases so that I might look upon your joie de vivre. But your je ne sais quoi always eludes me. <laughs> oh, love, yes, me. I confess in every corner church, beneath the mountain's cross, and in this one's only death and earth, that I never take you to your fête nationale or play your spoons. <laughs> but je ne souviens, you never ask me to dance under the full moon clay de la lune of Canada. Oh, my amour, I watch my P's and Q's, and when younger and more brave, she will take au temps et en danse, and she'll cut up on something. <laughs> oh, love, I call you on my telephone, a cook your peeps and all, and get tongue-tied in both official languages. Oh, mon amour, I know I'm not easy to live with. I, too, am sick in my ways and traditions, which you see as that kind of rose leaf and sensible shoes. And I know that my commitment, filled with, filled with words like cadet and royal commissions. Oh, love, I know that you and I mean different things when we say fuck, cadet, feedback, Canada, we, and no. <laughs> and yet, when I'm far away, we say Cornwall, Moose Jaw, <laughs> or Victoria, I feel like a stranger and passionate and defend your passionate position. Une dette, une dette, loving Quebec is a too cheap affair in chic cafes of croissants and cappuccinos and smoked blue galois air. And we are always partying, and always leaving behind crumbs, full ashtrays, and big rascal places. Oh, love, for you, j'ai abandonné mon apostrophe, subscribe to the devoir, and I don't know this, and enroll my future in immersion classes. Oh, mon amour, I wear my heart on your hockey sweater. I bring you bouquets of dragons and gold robinsons, but you only want rockets and the fleurs. I place my heart in your armoire, so in the morning you may see a Mr. Cashmere and your vein that I do love you after my own fashion. Oh love, let me say in my imperfect trial that when you say Shetan, candles will miss and shame. Beaujolais devient plus aromatic, and even good saying it comes down. When you say Shetan, Shabubu gets warmer. And I feel shivers up my day <laughs> When you say je t'aime, ice stones become romantic, and even the electricity is turned on. <laughs> oh, mon amour, say oui, je t'aime, and I will say yes, I love you. And he won't be very great at that baby. And we will conjure me that way to heaven. Et on parle de l'autre monde. Love, l'amour, it's as simple as that. Sintu, that's it. That's all. <laughs>
true patriot love for all thy sons and men. Let us rise and be worthy of our French forefathers, who are now famous streets, parks, and bridges, who brought over those fields de Bois to fill the graves of future first round politics. And those covering the wall whose great skills, snowshoeing, paddling, montaging, smoking, drinking, singing, spinning, and making babies, were surpassed only by their passion for chasing people. Let us rise and be worthy of our English forefathers who were famous streets, parks, bridges, whose accounting stocks kept the books and cash in immaculate pillar banks, who sparked out Irish fruit of the factories, taverns, churches, and obedient annually made fresh batch of babies. For again, we need to spend on our food. O Canada, with glowing hearts, we see the rise. Let us rise and be worthy of our anthem that we do not know, of our history that we do not know, of our geography that we do not know, of our languages that we do not know, of our arts that we do not know, of our culture that we do not know, of our immigrants that we do not want. Let us rise and be worthy of our glorious queen who graces our stamps and cash, who our governor general, who lives and spends our queen, our black Quebec law, who takes pops our queen, of our liberals who pork barrels our queen, of our NDPs who would socialize our queen, and our conservatives who are afraid of our queens. For again, we need to stand and ride for thee. O Canada, from far and wide, let us rise and be worthy of our too few rich, of our too few powerful, who would be our leaders, who shapes for our foreign flags, whose factories are erected on foreign shores, whose profits are in foreign untaxed shelters, whose exploited foreign workers dream of coming to these foreign shores to be free and to do the same. For again, we need to stand on life. O Canada, true north, strong and free, let us rise and sit and be worthy to watch ABC, NBC, CBS, PBS, CNN, and listen to ABC, NBC, CBS, PBS, CNN, and obey ABC, NBC, CBS, PBS, CNN. Let us rise and be 86 cents worthy of America selling us the American dream, of America deep frying us into raw with shits, of America drawing up our minerals, of America chewing up our forests, of America sucking out our oil and natural gas, of America guzzling down our water, of America kidnapping our citizens to be tortured. For again, we need to stand on guard for you. O Canada, God keep our land glorious and free. Let us rise and go, then you and I. Allophones, anglophones, francophones, anglophones, allophones, and mobile phones. Let us be John Kennett terrorists. Let us start a jihad after the playoffs. Let us be armed to the teeth with used submarines. Let us use our weapons of mass destruction. Let us gun and screech. Let us castrate them with P.I. lobsters. Let us burst their ear guns with those push fiddles. Let us whip them with the new run from Philippines. Let us cut our slow them with Quebec that's in. Let us give them the main leaves. Let us blast them with Manitoba winters. Let us pelt them with prairie oysters. Let us stone them with BC pot. Let us run them over with our Yukon husky power sleds. Let us kick them with their Pentagon, in their Pentagon, with our Nunavut snowshoes. Let us set up a Royal Canadian Mounties. Let us mount our bombardier stews and brave you without passports, ride proudly into the declining empire's headlands. For again, we need to stand on guard for thee. O oh, Canada, let us stand on guard for thee. O oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Let's see. Let's see.